we got the horse and buggy convoy. One thing I will mention about Shady Maple is, is it can get extremely packed. As you can see, we've been here for roughly about an hour, hour and a half now, and it's still popping. It's still packed. Well, a horse and buggy truck is. Definitely gonna be a lot of people here today. Well, the horse and buggy trucks are out all over today in Avonst. You got the sweet tooth. We have the desserts. Fried chicken, meatballs, Santa Claus. An awesome time and show you what the largest smorgasbord or buffet in the United States looks like. Hello and welcome to the channel. If you're new, my name is Chris and we're glad you came along for the adventure today. Today, we are infiltrating the Amish. Again. That's right, we are infiltrating the Amish probably more so the Mennonite culture, and we are gonna be taking you to the largest buffet, smorgasbord, in the United States. So today, we're gonna to get our tummies full. That's right, we're gonna we gonna fill the tummies. The tummies gonna to get full today. So without any further ado, let's get this adventure started. the horse and buggy convoy. One thing I will mention about Shady Maple is, is it can get extremely packed. Um, very full. The unfortunate thing about us is, is we have real jobs that we must go to Monday through Friday. So when we come out and we do these awesome adventures, a lot of times we have to do them on the busiest days. So I'm sure today will be no exception to that. And you will see how packed this place gets. Uh, but it's not just the smorgasbord that's here. They do have uh, different types of shops. They have a gift shop that is underneath the smorgasbord. They have a farmer's market where you can get a whole bunch of deli meats and cheeses. Um, and they just have regular stores that are around here too. Um, and I believe they have a Shady Maple RV dealership. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll kind of throw up here, you know, whatever else it is that they actually have in this generalized area. Um, definitely gonna be a lot of people here today. Seeing the parking lot, it is packed. But that's okay because we're still going to go get our bellies full and have an awesome time and show you what the largest smorgasbord or buffet in the United States looks like. So without any further ado, let's head inside and let's get our tummies full. One thing that's really cool about being down in Amish country is they have their own horse and buggy parking. Well, a horse and buggy truck is. Well, the horse and buggy trucks are out all over today in Avonst. I'm not gonna lie to you. We're getting pretty serious about this today, sports fans. When you go to a buffet, you guys know this. Jeans, hmm, they're not that great. So we got the sweatpants today. We're rocking the sweatpants and the dad shoes. That is how you know we are about to get a serious grub on today. Because we're comfy. Not to worry about none of that popping button type of stuff. We are just gonna get our grub on. to 
Told you, it gets pretty busy in here. Not gonna lie to you, today is no exception. I don't know if I've mentioned it already, but a lot of times they'll bring tour buses in here and it gets packed. This is our line, just to get in and get seated. Should be interesting, but don't worry, it usually goes pretty quick. And when I tell you that this is the largest buffet in the United States, I mean it. It is huge. And you're about to see that once we get in here. Hey, you never know who you're gonna see in all this country. We got Santa Claus over here. No birthdays. This art here is really cool. 3D art. And they have it kind of all throughout. Shady Maple. I'm not sure if you can buy them. Can't touch it. Definitely awesome. Alright, so here's the deal. You get through the first line. That is the pay. And then you have a second line to be able to seat and split you off to either the right or the left. Stand here. Wait to get seated. It's worth it, trust me. And the line moves pretty quick. They're they're really good at what they do here. They get you in pretty quickly. All right, thank you. You too. All right, well, we finally got our seat. Let's go take a look around the buffet bar and see what they have to offer. Uh, not only do they have the buffet bar, but they also have carving stations. They have like drink buffets, coffee, hot chocolate, you name it, milk, whatever you want. They got it to eat, to drink, and we're going to go check that out right now. As you can see, this place is massive. There's a bunch of rooms everywhere where you can get seated. This is the main dining room here. Food off to the side. Uh, it is packed. Not only do they have the main dining room, but then they also have like side little ballroom dining rooms. You have your carving stations up here. You have salmon, different types of burgers. And then we're in the thick of it here, guys. This is the buffet. Salad burger. Okay, on the court. Okay, thank you. Over here we got some veggies, some broccoli, got some broccoli, some carrots. Santa Claus. Mashed potatoes. Some roast beef. Roast beef looks slam, I'm not gonna lie to you. Fried chicken, meatballs, some pierogies, some shrimp, and then you got the sweet tooth. We have the desserts. We have pies, fruits, puddings. Got ice cream. If you're diabetic, which I may be after I leave here today, we have sugar-free selections of ice creams, gluten-free selection of some sweets here, and sugar-free. They got it all. They got it all for you. This is your booth section. Got your whole condiment bar right here. Some carving stations over here. It's got ham, brisket, salmon. By the way, it is May 4th, so may the 4th be with you 
watch out for the revenge of the fifth tomorrow if you like bread there's one heck of a bread and cheese bar here too and milkshakes i got a milkshake bar we'll show you the milkshake bar here extra thick milkshakes and you know we like it thick you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying Thought I lost Maury for a second, but we're good. We got it. Red beans. Can I do a cheeseburger and a steak? Yeah, I have a steak too. Yeah, uh, medium. Perfect. Thank you much. Enjoy. Thank you. favorite meals ever is roast beef and mashed potatoes definitely from my childhood my mom used to make some slam and roast beef and mashed potatoes this is good it's not mama good but it's pretty darn good you all know by now i love me a burger I'm hoping this burger ain't gonna disappoint. Oh, pretty good. Oh, pretty good burger. I'm gonna go all in on the steak now. Kind of a steak snob, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm pretty particular about my steaks, but as for medium, that's what I got. There's a little bit of pink in there. See, it's pretty medium. I should have went with a medium rare. Let's try it. A little dry. All in all, not too shabby. Girl, we're not in a steakhouse, we're at a buffet. I'll give it like a 7 out of 10. Alright, well that's round 1. I've been eyeing up some stuff for round 2. I have a pretty good idea what we want for round 2. Let's go get some. Thank 
I think I had just about as much as I'm gonna eat regular food and try as many foods as I can today. It's time to go tap into some dessert now. Okay. Other people may say otherwise. <laughs> a nice little pecan pie and this peanut butter oh, okay. cup pudding. It looks amazing. We're going all in on that peanut butter pudding. Slamming. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. Mm. It's very good. Amish and Mennonite sweets and treats are slamming. We're gonna go for the pecan pie. As you can see, we've been here for roughly about an hour, hour and a half now, and it's still popping. It's still packed. But I think that's gonna wrap it up for us right here on the eating part of Shitty Maple. We're gonna head down to their gift shop now. I've heard really good things about their gift shop and it's supposed to be massive. So we're gonna go check it out and see what they have. Got in a gift shop. I'm already a pretty big fan. I like that pimple. That's pretty cool. Definitely have a lot of trinkets here. Believe it or not, I've lost Mori already. I gotta go find her before I get grounded. I don't want to get grounded. Not today. Lunch was too good to get grounded today. For all you service men and women, thank you for your service. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. We appreciate you. section here. 
<laughs> Fun fact, Wizard of Oz used to be a big family staple. Every year, my pops would get so excited when Wizard of Oz came on. It's just a big family thing that we'd all sit down, make some popcorn, and have an awesome family night of watching Wizard of Oz. Any of you guys do that out there yet? Comment down below. Is there anything you guys still get together as a family and watch? Uh, you know, I think that's, that's definitely an awesome tradition to be able to keep. It's really fun to do. This place is pretty cool, I'm not going to lie, I don't really know what I expected coming down here. I thought it would be more kind of handcrafted Amish trinkets, but uh, really they have something for everybody here and it's massive. But I still haven't found more yet. Still have no clue where she is. So I'm still probably going to get grounded. This sword just goes on forever. They have literally everything in here. It's like an Amish Walmart. You have all your sports memorabilia here. We found her. We found Maury. Yes. We got here. What well, modern Scarlet? Swole Rotten always lives here. Am I getting grounded? They want to know. Because I lost you. Oh, I know it'll get grounded on me. I'm effed. This when you go to the bathroom. What? What from I go to the bathroom? I mean, that's some shit. So if you didn't have enough delicious treats upstairs, you can come downstairs and get a lot more to take home with you.
me some Reese's Pieces. I'm not gonna lie to you. These things are cool. I don't know why I'm so fascinated by these things. I think they're absolutely awesome. Look who I found. Look who I found. Do I know you? No. I'm still in trouble. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up for this week's adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, as always, we certainly love bringing you guys on these adventures and just having an awesome time. And what better way on a rainy day to go get your tummy full, if you know what I mean? I'm going to go get the tummy full. And we definitely did that today. Shady Maple is, is an awesome place to be able to go if you're hungry, you want to get your grub on. Uh, my personal favorite of Shady Maple is their breakfast. I absolutely love going there for their breakfast, which is kind of odd for me because I'm really not much of a breakfast guy, honestly. Um, and on the weekends is really the only time that we go out and we get breakfast. Um, but hey, it's Shady Maple. Their food's delicious. And if you're ever around the Lancaster County area, more specifically, I believe that is in the town of East Earl. Uh, check it out. You can't go wrong. Um, but it's their food's slamming. It's delicious. Um, I'll put some prices up here because the prices are, are fairly reasonable, um, especially during the week. And I think one of the really, really cool things about Shady Maple is, is if you go there to eat on your birthday, make sure you take your driver's license with you because um, you eat for free on your birthday. And that's pretty sweet. Um, it doesn't matter which meal you go to, just show your license. You get one free meal to be able to eat on your birthday. And I think that's pretty cool. You know, not a lot of places do that and pay it forward like that. Um, so check out Shitty Maple on your birthday if you're looking for something different to do and you're around the area. My tummy is very full. My eyelids are very heavy. And I think it's time to go take a nap now. So, um... It's going to wrap up this week's adventure. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, maybe two thumbs up. I know you can only give one on YouTube. Drop a comment down below. It's always a huge help with us starting out on our channel. Um, so we can keep bringing you guys these awesome adventures. You know, we, we have a lot up our sleeve. I always tell you that. Um, so get the notifications on. You won't be sorry. And for all of our new viewers out there, welcome. I'm glad you're with us. I think it's really awesome that you guys decide to spend your time following along with us and we couldn't be for we, we couldn't be more grateful for that. Um, so thank you, you know, from the bottom of our hearts. We appreciate it. But again, that's going to wrap it up for this week's adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay safe. We'll see you next Thursday at 730 p.m.